do see, I know you've got plans and we'll talk about those plans about what Kelvin Fetcher looks like, um, you know, in the future. But I suppose we've all seen the types of, uh, maybe a lot of EastEnders characters have gone away, tried different things, not quite worked out and seem to come back full circle and five, ten years later they're back on the ep- where they were f- made, you know, where they became famous. But yeah. So just don't whether it's something you consider, I'm sure they never considered it in that period of time, but mm. it, I don't know. It's just one of, because you didn't, you weren't killed off, for example, so no, no, you've no. got the opportunity to do it. But anyway, it doesn't matter. But I, w- it, I, never, I never left with the intention of, um, of, of using it as a, as a backstop no. that I could go back. I've got too much respect and admiration for the place. You know, yeah. I, I, I expect to learn my trade on mm. the job. Mm. 20 years, mm. you know, from a young lad to, to a young man. Mm. And I got nothing but admiration for the show and what it gave me. And um, and I just felt that artistically I wanted to do different things. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, contractually, time-wise, you can't do that when you're in such a full-time commitment like a, you know, serial drama, like a soap. So mm. theatre, film, come and do podcasts like this. Mm. There's a lot more freedom and that's kind of what I wanted to do. And I didn't feel that Emmerdale could give me any more than it already had. It, right. You know, I was 100% full. Yeah. I was content and um well 20 years is certainly you know you must have the watch and the plaque for being on for so long yeah i wasn't the longest member of cast but i think i was up there yeah, yeah. so um